Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna decorate this superhero cake. And basically it's just a buttercream icing. That white part there is a crumb coat. And then I went back with a large round tip and did the three individual colors and kind of marked off those areas where I wanted them. Then you go back with a simple cake spatula, preferably a smaller one. And you're going to smooth out, smooth out each colored section so that you can go back and smooth it again later. But you're gonna to wanna to wipe that off and clean it off in between each color, as you can see there. Once you get that done, it's gonna look kind of like this. So it's not gonna look perfect because you can't smooth it with a scraper across, that's okay. You're gonna grab a Viva paper towel, the signature Viva paper towels that don't have any kind of texture, no pattern, and you're gonna put it soft side down on top of the cake like this. It's gonna lay up there. You're gonna use your hand if you want to or a fondant scraper or fondant smoother. And you're gonna apply a little bit of pressure all the way on the top and the sides and so it smooths it out enough for you to go ahead and continue decorations. Then use black buttercream to create the webs and use a tip three or four on that. And then grab a tip number 48 to create a divider between all three of those colors. And that's just gonna give you a little bit of definition and kind of cover up where the colors come together. Then you're going to add your fondant pieces, which are the Spider-Man eyes, the Batman logo, and the Superman logo. Those were all made in fondant ahead of time, and then I attached them to the buttercream with just a little bit of water to create a little bit of stickiness on the back. Then, once you get that port done, you're going to go and you're going to get a small tip in the black icing, maybe a number four tip, and add little screws all along that black strip, and then a yellow fondant belt as your base border. Then you're gonna roll out red fondant in this shape, pleat it like a cape, like you see here, and then immediately attach that to your cake because you don't want it to dry or it won't sit properly against the buttercream. Then you're just gonna grab a simple closed steamer, like a handheld, and just steam the fondant pieces just a little bit to create a shiny finish, and that's it. Enjoy.